I started martial arts as a young child and I really didn't realize the type of journey that I'd actually begun. It's helped me into the man that I am today. It's really shaped the path that I'm walking. It helps me with the confidence both internally and externally, the emotional resilience. Really, it's given me the opportunity to travel the world, to share my gifts with so many people. It's one of those things that most people underestimate, thinking it's just a physical activity, but really, it helps show up that internal core, that being your belief system. It helps you be the very best version of yourself, plus also helps you to selflessly give and inspire and motivate others. Something for me that I really never even thought of when I first started. Now today, I have the great opportunity to share what I've learned with so many more. It makes such an impact in our community, and now I'm really, really passionate and so proud to be a martial arts instructor. So don't take my word for it. Have a listen to some of my instructors. Looking back at my training as a student, what I've really loved to do is just learn. There's been so much knowledge and so many different styles out there that I've had the pleasure of training in, that I love to just train in as much as possible and absorb as much as I can. And more importantly, the ability to be able to push myself and, and test limits that I never thought possible. I found that martial arts has been fantastic for a lot of the emotional control. Uh, so being able to control uh, like my anger and my uh, stress in stressful situations. The most enjoyable part about my martial arts journey was um, receiving my junior black belt. So doing that for that grading was um, extremely challenging and extremely memorable. It started when I was you know, in high school and have trained all throughout. To start off with, I was quite shy and quiet. And I think the biggest way that martial arts has shaped me is it's given me the courage and the confidence and the ability to stand up for myself, what I believe in, and be able to take action in my life to move towards my, my dreams and goals. The number one thing about teaching for me, my favorite part about being an instructor. The most rewarding part is being able to do that for other people seeing how far they come from when they first walk in the dojo and then seeing them get their own black belts. And to see them grow over you know, weeks to months to years and become really strong people that can stand up for themselves, make their own decisions and take the chance to be able to create the lives that they want and achieve things that they thought were never possible. When a student is really struggling to achieve a, a technique or a level and then they have that breakthrough moment and then all of a sudden it just clicks, and everything comes into place. And for me, that, that's really rewarding to see. We see a lot of students come in being unable to control their anger or stress or confusion, things like that. Just be able to overcome a lot of those challenges and become a better person for it is something that I love to see. As you've just heard, some of the amazing changes and transformations that my instructors have had in their martial arts career and in their lives as well. And mine is much the same. Martial arts has shaped me to the person I am today. It's helped me build the character that I needed to overcome many of life's challenges and now I can pass that on as a father to my children as well. One thing that I really get out of teaching martial arts to kids, adults and in, in every way, shape and form is the smile on their face. Not just the face of them in class, but also the smile of the parents when they go back into life, into school or into work and you can see that the difference that we're making in their lives here on the mat makes a big difference in their life as well. Now it's your turn. It's your turn to share the gift of martial arts. Share this gift with your family, with your friends, people walking down the street. If we can make this world a better place by making a difference in one person's life, then we owe it to them. Bring them down to our martial arts school, get them to experience what it's like to be on the mat, get them to experience what it's like to be around other people, like mono people, be part of a community that's making a difference. I urge you, it'll not just change your life, but it'll change the lives of all those around you.